Why did the business owner decide to ignore AI? Because they said, why would I need artificial intelligence when I have all natural ignorance? <laughs> AI is getting insane. There's a whole lot of grade on this latest chat GPT 4.0. And in this video, I'm going to be talking of the insane features, some of the things in which this ChatGPT app can actually do. It's unlike the old ChatGPT in which we know. There's actually some things in which the old ChatGPT lacks. But with this new ChatGPT 4.0, it has some of the latest upgrades like human voice activation and solving maths and a whole lot of things which I'm going to talk on this video. So if you find this video interesting, make sure to stick to the end. and now let's dive into the video so recently there's a huge upgrade on this chat gpt which we all know but with this latest update it allows user to be able to interact with ai through text voice and vision that's video these new ai features has a whole lot of benefits whereby you can be able to interact with ai like you are interacting with someone very close to you i'm going to be showing you some of the insane features of what this ai can actually do. The model is able to generate voice in a variety of different emotive styles, and it really has a wide dynamic range. So I'm going to fire up another demo awesome. for that. Yeah. Mm. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? Pretty good. What's up? So my friend uh, Barrett here, he's been having trouble sleeping lately, and uh, I want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered. Gather round, Barrett. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. Byte was a curious robot, always exploring. I started this story, but I want a little bit more emotion in your voice, a little bit more drama. Another thing in which I find fascinating about this chat GPT 4.0 is the personalization most especially when you are asking a question it doesn't just gives you a random answer in which you know in which you think might be the answer it gives you a personalized answer based on what you ask and how it has to do with you yourself so it doesn't give you general answers to whatsoever in which you ask unlike the old one whereby it gives you internet based answers but this is more personalized whereby it can be able to give you personalized answers which is more accurate unlike the old chat gpt which we know so the 4.0 upgrade is more advanced unlike the old one now let's see how it works got it let's add some drama once upon a time in a world not too different from ours there was a robot named no Byte. no no chat gpt i really want maximal emotion like maximal expressiveness much more than you were doing before understood let's amplify the drama once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. Byte so can was... Can you do this in a robotic voice now? Initiating dramatic robotic voice. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. Byte was a curious robot always exploring new so circuits. Seeing, uh, Barrett here, calm down a little bit. Can you end the story, um, but do it in a singing voice? <sighs> and so Byte found another robot friend, and they live circuitly ever after. Thank you so much. <laughs> I definitely feel a lot more relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the things this AI chat GPT 4.0 can do includes Enhanced conversation abilities. It can be able to converse with you just like your normal human being and you can be able to ask some questions and a whole lot and I'm also going to be showing you the video. With this latest upgrade on chat GPT, which is the 4.0, it has a much more deeper understanding whereby it can be able to give you accurate answer unlike the other former one which was done. With this chat GPT, it can be able to give you accurate answers for whatsoever in which you are searching for, in which you want to know. It's giving you answers, sorry, that has to do with human understanding, human comprehension. It's not like you're talking to a robot, but you can be able to converse just like someone very close to you. You can be able to tell you everything which you need to know on any particular topic in which you want to ask. So now let's look at these other features, which I said. Why did the business owner decide to ignore AI? Because they said, why would I need artificial intelligence when I have all natural ignorance? 
<laughs> I have an audience, 50 Spanish speaking people. None of them speak a word of English. I need you to translate everything that I say from now on. Of course. I'll translate everything you say into Spanish. Let me know when you're ready to start. Okay, I'm going to start now. I have a mastermind that I'm going to be running July 27 and 28. It's a Friday and it's a Saturday. I'm going to be teaching next level strategies that are practical on the subject of artificial intelligence. Muy bien, voy a empezar ahora. Tengo un mastermind que voy a dirigir durante dos días, el 27 y 28 de julio. Es un viernes y un sábado. Será un evento de dos días y voy a enseñar estrategias de siguiente nivel que son prácticas en el tema de la inteligencia artificial. It wasn't good. It was perfect. It can do something which we call live translate. Just what we saw. These live translate makes it easier for lecturers or business people or those that do trading, buying and selling or whatsoever in which you do. You can be able to use this chat GPT to have a live conversation, live translation, which which is just what we saw. It can translate a full lecture all to any kind of language, either Spanish, English, French, German, or any kind of language in which you are interested in. It can actually do all this, which I think is something is, is so amazing. I find all these things fascinating because these are advanced tech, advanced programming software, which is being carried on on this chat GPT. And I think this is just the beginning of great things or greater things to come in the nearest future. So if you find this video interesting and you want to know more about what this channel is all about, which has to do with tech and latest developments going on in the tech world, make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like this video because I still have a lot to show you. Hello there. I'm here with my son and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem, but don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction, but I really want to make sure he understands it himself and he's here in the room so you can talk to him directly of course i'd be happy to help let's look at the problem together can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha all right so i'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here right perfect that's correct yeah. now looking at the triangle which side do you think is the hypotenuse I'm not totally sure. I think, I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Can you find which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, okay. I see. So, um, I think the hypotenuse is this really long side from A to B. Would that be correct? Now that you've identified the hypotenuse, can you identify which side is the opposite side to angle alpha? Okay, well, I mean, you told me earlier that this was the adjacent side, and I know that's the hypotenuse, so I'm guessing that this side, BC, is the opposite side. That's absolutely correct. Now that you've identified all the sides relative to angle alpha, do you remember the formula for finding the sine of an angle in a right triangle? Yeah, I know that um, the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Perfect. That's absolutely right. Now, can you apply that formula to find sine alpha in the triangle using the lengths of the sides that we've identified? Okay, so, I mean, you told me that 7, this side BC, is the opposite side. And then you said that the hypotenuse is the longest side, so that would be this side AB, which is 25. So would we would the answer be seven over twenty-five? Excellent work. That's correct. Sine alpha equals seven over twenty-five. You did a great job identifying the sides and using the sine formula. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. One of the most things I like so much about this latest JET GPT 4.0, its ability to adapt, to be able to keep learning. It doesn't just stick to one particular information. What it does is that the more question that is being thrown at it, it keeps adapting to whatsoever kind of question based on video, text, voice, and a whole lot. It adapts, it keeps learning, keeps updating itself on the latest information or the latest trend. But I don't know if this is actually safe for we ourselves, but I find this very interesting. It's not like 
you are used to one particular information getting one aspect of information it, it keeps giving you latest update latest information latest answers to questions asked i think i find it very good hey how's it going hey rocky i'm doing great how about you i'm awesome listen i got some huge news oh do tell i'm all ears well in a few minutes i'm going to be interviewing at open ai have you heard of them open ai huh sounds vaguely familiar <laughs> kidding of course <laughs> that's incredible rocky what kind of interview well it's for a software engineering role but i just need to know do i look presentable professional well rocky <laughs> You definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just run a hand through your hair or lean into the mad genius vibe. Your well, enthusiasm is what's really going to shine through. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to throw this on. What do you think? <laughs> oh, Rocky, that's quite a statement piece. I, I mean, you, you'll definitely stand out. So maybe not in the way you're hoping for an interview. Okay, I got it. I got it. The fact that it can be able to get a video that's visual and audio and text, which means whatever in which why you are videoing, you can be able to explain, analyze that particular thing in which you give it to do and gives you accurate answer and much more better response, unlike the robotic voice and all that. You can be able to explain these things just like human, which I think is very good. I find these things very good, very interesting. So leave in the comments, what do you think about these latest upgrades on ChatGPT, which is the ChatGPT 4.0? You can also watch my other videos on my YouTube growth and not just my YouTube growth, a whole lot of AI videos and other tech inventions, which I've talked about in and mobile phones and other things. So if you want to learn more, make sure to subscribe to this channel and Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.